So I went on vacation with my Roku streaming stick, and unfortunately I left the remote behind at the hotel. The remote for the Roku streaming stick does not use IR, but rather uh, some sort of RF or wireless connection. So I couldn't use any Play Store apps that use um, IR as the means of remote control. Now I know there's a Roku app available on the Google Play Store, but the uh, Android or Apple device and the Roku stick need to be on the same network. Unfortunately, the Roku streaming stick is still connected to the hotel Wi-Fi network and I cannot change the connection um, without the remote. There is a workaround to get the Roku connected to my home Wi-Fi network and to start using the app to control the streaming stick. For this solution, you need two devices. One is a mobile hotspot, which I'm using my uh, cell phone to service that, and the second is another device, either Apple, Android, uh, for which you uh, download the Roku remote app from the Play Store or the iTunes Store. I'm an app uh, Android user, so I obtained my Roku remote app from Google Play Store by going to Google Play typing in Roku and selecting the Roku remote app so this is already uh, installed in my device The next thing I did is to recover the name of the previous Wi-Fi network that my Roku was logged into. Fortunately, I had this tablet also connected to the same Wi-Fi network of the hotel where I was traveling, so all I merely had to do was to go into Settings, Wi-Fi, and here it is. I was staying at the Double Tree uh, Inn, and so I save that. The next thing I did is I went to my cell phone settings, and then I used a uh, hotspot, and what I did was I created the hotspot name duplicating the previous hotspot that my Roku device was connected to. Here we have Doubletree H Honor Secure and that's what I named my hotspot. The other thing I did was to configure the password to be the exact same password that that particular hotel used. I then saved oops, I then saved all the settings and I turned on my hotspot. Now if you notice the not connected uh, on the Roku is now connected, it recognized the hotspot name and the previous password that it was connected to. So now it's connected to my hotspot. I then went back to my tablet and connected it to that hotspot name.
I already had the password saved in. After I was connected, I went to the Roku app. I opened the app. Now my stick and this uh, tablet are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, so I'm able to find the streaming stick and connect. Then I click on the remote, and now I'm able to control the stick. Using the remote app on my tablet, I'm now able to navigate down to settings, network, and I can change the connection to my home Wi-Fi network. Just this one. Now that it's connected to my home network, the remote app no longer works unless I connect to the same network. My tablet now shows that it is disconnected. So I go to settings. And I connect it to the same network. Now once again I'm able to control the device using my Roku app. And I can now use my Roku normally using the app and I don't need to buy another remote. At this point, it'd be a good idea to turn off the hotspot on your cell phone. There you go. Now you can continue to use your Roku streaming stick without having to buy a brand new remote.